Dear friends, may the name of the Lord be praised now and for ever more through our living and exemplary Christian life. Today, the Holy Mother Church celebrates the memorial of Saint Agatha, virgin and martyr. She was born into a wealthy family at Catania in Sicily. Agatha is a Greek word means good or excellent. She was the first of the four great virgin martyrs of the Roman Church. Their feasts are celebrated month by month during the winter. The feast of St. Agatha the Good is kept in February, that of St. Agnes the Pure in January, that of St. Cecilia in November, of St. Lucy the Shining One in December. According to the 13th century golden legend by Jacobus the Varagine, 15-year-old Agatha from rich and noble family made a vow of virginity and rejected the amorous advances of the Roman prefect Quintanius who thought he could force her to turn away from her vow and marry him. His persistent proposals were consistently spurned by Agatha. This was during the persecutions of Emperor Decius. So Quintanius, knowing she was a Christian, reported to the authorities. Quintanius himself was governor of the district. Quintinius expected Agatha to give in to his demands when failed with torture and possible death, but Agatha simply reaffirmed her belief in God by praying, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, you see my heart, you know my desires, possess all that I am. I am your sheep, make me worthy to overcome the devil. To force her to change her mind, Quintanius sent Agatha to Aphrodisia, the keeper of a brothel, and, and had her imprisoned there. However, the punishment failed with Agatha remaining a Christian. Quintanius sent for Agatha again arguing with her and threatening her before finally having her imprisoned and tortured. She was stressed on a rack to be torn with iron hooks, burned with torches and wept. The tortures she underwent was the excision of her breasts with pincers. After further dramatic confrontations, with the Quintanius represented in a sequence of dialogues in our Passio that document her fortitude and steadfast devotion. Agatha who was then sentenced to be burnt at the stake. However, an earthquake prevented this from happening and she was Instead, sent to prison where St. Peter the Apostle appeared to her and healed her wounds. Agatha died in prison probably in the year 251 AD. According to the legend Aurea, St. Agatha is the patron of rape victims, breast cancer patients, patron of wet nurses and bell founders. She is also considered to be a powerful intercessor when people suffer from fires. As we celebrate her memorial, let us get inspired from our life, seek her intercession to live our Christian lives in a more passionate and energetic way. Moreover, let us not be ashamed 
to bear witness when we get chances even if we are persecuted tortured or put to death what we need to do we need to bear witness for the great love that we have towards towards our lord jesus christ the role model wishing you all a happy feast of saint agatha may she intercede for all of us amen